I'm Gavin Townsend here today with Kyla de Doyen, the UK's number two triple jumper. So, Kyla, um, nice seeing you today. If you'd like to uh, tell everyone about your hope for London 2012, that, that'd be amazing. Well, yeah, definitely. Um, there's two championships this year with the European Championship and the London 2012 Games. Um, my aim is to qualify for the European Championship final and also achieve the qualifying mark for the London 2012 Games. How does it feel to be 20 years of age heading towards London 2012? It was exciting, you know. Um, I've always wanted to be an Olympian. I wanted to be um, on TV running and jumping. So for me to be going for the Olympic Games in your home country, in your hometown, it's, it's magnificent. Absolutely. And um, your coaching, you've got a great coach, a guy called uh, Frank Gatto. How, how does he work with you on a day to day basis? Yeah, um, Frank Gatto is a great coach. I work with him five days a week. Um, I see him five days a week, that's it. Um, he's a one of the most experienced coaches in the UK today. He's coached many Great Britain internationals, including Greg Rutherford and Chris Thompson, to Great Britain long jump records. And also he's coached Larry Ochike, the former Commonwealth champion. He's also coached many world medalists in the triple jump in the female, um, Yamil Aldama and Trisha Smith, to world titles and world medals so so it really helps having someone with great experience supporting you from um, a young age almost oh, definitely i mean I, I linked up with him a couple of years ago and i was just flabbergasted with the knowledge he had so it was, um, as i've been with him i've improved every year despite injury so i know i'm in the right hands great and what's your nutrition and your exercise like well um i train six days a week nine sessions or nine to ten sessions a week and um I'm also on a diet where I eat lots of protein, not so much carbs and high um, fibre intake. Just because I'm a triple jump, I need to stay light and powerful, so I need... So it's important to have a good balanced diet? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it varies for every athletic event, but me being a triple jump has to be specific to what I'm trying to do, so um, that's why I'm... Absolutely. Absolutely. And your training, it's not... As, it's not a a half an hour an hour workout it's a three hour training session yeah. ten times a week yeah two to three hours um, different different types of sessions so um, I'm in a weight room I'm on the track I'm on the runway um, I'm on the grass so it's, um, it varies a lot and some do go up to three hours and some of them are an hour and a half mm. so What's your uh, PB at the moment? My personal best is 16.06 set last year at the England Under 23 Championships. And the uh, the qualifying distance this year? 17.20. And what date do you need to achieve that? Well, the Olympic trials are the 23rd and 24th of June. So mm -hmm. if you already have the Olympic standard and you finish in the top two, that's you guaranteed. I think there's also a little bit of a saving grace with a couple of weeks to achieve the qualifying mark after okay. the trials. Okay. So what other support do you get? Um, Run Procure Memorial Fund, then Sports Aid, charities, as many young athletes know about, they're helping me um, with one off grants um, every year, so I'm very grateful for that. They um, ease a little bit of the worries. Okay, so what worries do you have then? Well, um, obviously, I'm training six, six days a week and I'm also studying for a sports science degree. Um, at the moment, I'm balancing my life by myself, so I'm trying to pay for my rent pay for warm weather trips and physio so, so it can get all on top because obviously the lifestyle I'm living I can't have a full-time job. Mm. So it's hard, you, also you, you, you have a uh, part-time job helping schools though? Yeah um, I, I love it, I go to um, primary schools, so give them a little bit of talk, tell them a little bit about myself and how I go into sport. Mm. Um, just, it's just a little a way to give back to the community that's helped me. So I do that through Sports for Schools, which is a great company. That's good. That's good. Um, but obviously, you always need that extra bit of support. If you're training six days a week, you're working, you're, it's, you're doing a full time education course for the university. Yeah, I, I, there's only so much you can get yourself, really. Yeah, definitely. Um, a, a little bit of extra support would help so great and um, so much just because, well, this winter I had a great winter period and my group flew out to South Africa for a three week training period just to get shot for competition and I wasn't able to go and as... What was that? I just didn't have enough money to go so it's quite expensive for flights and So you're the, U but you're the UK's number two triple jumper, what, what was that? What kind of funds for that? It's, it's hard, I had, a, I had a bad season last year through injury right? and so 
I didn't reach my targets, but now I'm fit. I'm and you, 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 you won something recently, didn't you? Yeah, um, I won my first UK indoor senior title, my first senior title ever, so it's, um, it's a huge step up from the junior ranks. And, and obviously you've bounced straight back from, from last year. Yeah, most definitely, because as you say, you, you can get hurt, but you never lose talent. No. As long as I got the training in, I knew I'd be, I can be up there as an Olympian, as a world-class athlete. So, yeah. so if it, as a 20-year-old uh, heading towards the London 2012, we're very uh, happy to be sponsoring at Colour all the way to London 2012. If you feel that you can help at Colour in any way, at the UK's number two triple jumper, please call him on. 079-314-22160 And again? 079-314-22160 So if you can help, get in touch. I'm Gavin Townsend, here today with... Quite Thank you for your time. Thank you.